So this last track event we just got back from, checking the data logs, found out, which is something I already knew, had an alternator issue going down the track at about 10 volts, which is not enough power to run anything, uh, especially when you're fuel injected and you got an ECU and you got other stuff in the car, fuel pump and all that kind of stuff that needs the power. It doesn't run at full, full uh, voltage and it doesn't get, you know, all that you expect from it. So. Uh, already on top of that and you know since the Crown Vic is not really a car that they make a whole lot of parts from you got to kind of do some searching and read some forums and try to find a, a, a solution to a problem that you probably normally wouldn't have if you were driving something like a Mustang or a Chevy but I'm still a Crown Vic boy so uh, but already on top of that found a uh, alternator that I think might work kind of got the same size from here to here and here to here gonna see if it fits so I guess let's get it of course getting to the alternator on this car is not that difficult um, you just kind of got your bolt here that basically allows you to do your tension and then you got one down here that uh, holds it in place and then just take off all the wires there's all a bunch of wires right now you're gonna clean that up a little bit but take those off and then it comes right out. So that's easy. Fought an alternator, didn't fit, uh, didn't fit up right, but found this one, which is a 3G. So it's the right type that I want to switch to and uh, got it to fit. Had to uh, use the, uh, the tap set to kind of get some bolts to fit up and everything but as far as a mock as far as uh, fitment like how it fits in here like you know in here and will it screw in here and stay tight this one works so now difference is the uh, connections and everything on the old one sat right here on this one they sit back here so I'm gonna have to try to reposition this in order to be able to use the connectors because I got a few wires that I put into here and I want to be able to get them on there so I'm going to use it's like one bolt back here and then another bolt right here so I'm going to try to separate them a little bit and get, get it a little cleaner go ahead and do that but from the looks of it we're going to be able to get some charge now and I think for the original uh, alternator which I was still wanting to change out it was actually this piece here the regulator you know, it's an old car, so it has that uh, external regulator, but I think it was the regulator that messed up and not actually the alternator. So, I mean, if I wasn't trying to change to the 3G already, I might just go ahead and buy the regulator, put that old alternator back in. But this one should eliminate, I had a little bit of flicker uh, in my LED lights. This should eliminate it. So we'll see. All right. So it's in now. Let's see if we can crank this thing up and see if it's charging man I guess I guess I messed up this battery huh I can't even get it to jump oh well after charging the battery, the motor crank is running, and it would appear that the uh, alternator is doing its thing up here. Thirteen point eight volts, and uh, as far as everything else is concerned, uh, I think we got this problem fixed and good. But I'm going to still give you a nighttime view so you can see. You can look out at the lights. Turn the high brights on. And you know, I got the LED, so I could really tell when it was uh, flickering. Man, I can't see nothing. gas station right up the street got it on the wall uh, for right now after looking in the light so many times looks pretty close I don't think it's perfect but as long as it's not blind
finding anybody? So, I would say no more flicker. That's definitely a success to me. So, if you got one of these old Fords and uh, you can get yourself a 3G alternator, go ahead and do it. Because I don't have a, a one ounce of flickering anymore. Like you used to be able to see it from outside the car and see it in the headlights. So, uh, and I mean more power, consistent power. Hopefully, I'll have some more power in the uh, on the drag strip too. And uh, I guess we'll be able to test that out in a couple of weeks. So, stay tuned for the videos. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll holler at y'all in a little bit.